Michelle Fix It here. Today we're going to be changing out pendant lights. So this is going to be a how to change out your pendant lights in your house if you don't like them. The lights that we're dealing with right now are these lights. So I have already disconnected the two little balls that go on either side right there. I will show you guys in a moment how to get that squared up. Um, but once you have your light source down, disconnected, flip your breaker, uh, turn your light switch off, use your power tester, make sure that there's no power, and then you're going to get to this step. So all of those things have already been done, okay? They've already been completed, so don't come at me in the comments. So I'm gonna get you guys set up, and we're gonna change out these light pendants for some newer, prettier, fancy ones. They're LEDs that are gonna go perfectly with the fans that we've chosen for this property. Those fans, look at that, I love these fans. So just bear in mind that that is what we're working with. So you guys come with me and you shall see how to make these ugly fixtures go away. So for this next step, you're going to need a drill or a screwdriver. I'm going to use a drill and we're gonna take the housing down, well, first, you're going to disconnect your negative and your positive, these wire caps. One, this is the ground. You'll disconnect those. Ah! Oh, yeah. That was not planned. Be advised that there may be gross things in the underside of the light fixture, and it may make gross stuff. Disperse. <laughs> in your house. All right, so we're gonna use our screwdriver or our drill. Take these screws out, get the housing. is attached to the housing you're going to want to take out whatever screws or bolts you have for the housing and make it where the housing is by itself so here are your lights Put the light to the side and then you're going to feed your wires through your housing And you're going to get your mounting bolts and mount your picture, your mounting plate. So if you notice, whatever your housing is, you should have some holes. You're going to hand tighten. Make sure everything's lined up. Hand tighten your mounting bolts to the picture. And then once they are in, then you will be, oh yeah, that's okay. <laughs> once your, uh, your bolts are in, then you will tighten everything down. But you want to hand tighten first, all right? You have that there, everything centered, happy with that. Put the drill in forward, or use the screwdriver. like this, what you're going to want to do is you're going to loosen it, this is going to be super low like that, um, so you want to adjust the height, so you would need to use some type of adjustable wrench or pliers, undo that so it's not so tight, and then push it through 
Oh, this one, I don't even have to do that. So you just feed it to the height that you want it to be. I'm gonna start this one off kind of short, and then I'll wind everything in and pick the appropriate height. Very likely based off of the pre-existing stuff because I feel like this is a good height. We don't want to really want anything much lower than that, um, but we'll see once it's up. So you're going to connect your wires. So depending on your device, you might have black wires, white wires, you might have colors. Um, if you end up in a situation where you don't have black or white, you can't just connect black to black, white to white, neutral to neutral, or copper to green, something like that. Like this is very apparently the ground uh, for this equipment. Then if it has an L on it, that's your live wire, so your black wire. And if it has an N on it, then that's your neutral wire or your white wire. So we're going to use our wire nuts or caps, and you're gonna connect your neutral wires together, so white to white, or white to N for neutral. And then you're going to twist your wire cap or wire nut on. I prefer the ones with wings because they have more twisting ease. Twist that all the way down, make it super tight. And we're gonna go for the live, or the, the black line. Get those connected as well. Super twist down our wires, just like we did for the other one. Twist, twist, twist. All right, and then we have our ground. And we are going to put our grounds together and break our equipment. And this is why they should have used tape or binding, because this is their neutral wire right here. And they have a little cap on it. So we're going to twist that down all the way. And then we will be taping that. to make sure everything works. Oh, that's the thing. And it works. So now we're gonna get, oh, it was the same thing again. Housey. The lights don't make sense on where they should be. Um, so I'm going to get some electrical tape and then we'll tape everything up, okay? So I already did put the wire cap on the ground and then I put tape on there so you're going to get your electrical tape. Tape up all of your wire caps or nuts. I like to wrap it first and then go around it. So that way it's really secure. Kind of overdo it, but I prefer it to be overdone, and that way if it gets cold or the animal messes with it, because you know we do sometimes get pests and all kinds of things in houses, whether we want them there or not. <laughs> that way we can make sure everything's good. All right, and then we're going to do the same for the neutral and for the live wire. start at the wire, I wrap it around to the base of the nut or the cap, and then I go around it. If I have a small roll of electrical tape, I won't pull it out and do it like this, because this way it does get stuck a little. Um, so it just depends on your style. 
And then I'm special because I always try to make it in a little flap so I know where to disconnect from if I have to get in here and do anything else with it in the future. Instead of having to like use a razor blade and cut it off and everything else. Pull this here. I call it flagging. And if you see, I'm putting it down and then it goes up. And then once we're back to the wire, I make everything tight with the wires, work my way down the wire nut or cap. And then flag it. And then squeeze it and make sure everything's tight. Before I do anything else, and then I make sure that it's still working. I test, test, test the whole way through. Still working. Now we're going to play with that adjustment in height. So wrap everything internally here. Pretend that it's going to be here. And pull it down. Hmm, I may have put it in there too much. Hold on. I might have to disconnect this a little. Okay. Yeah, or you can just make it work super short like that. I might make it super short. I'll, I'll test it and see if I like it that way. And we're going to put everything all nice, neat, and tidy back inside the housing, like so. Get a bolt. <clears throat> and then to the side. Hand tight on that side. And this is probably the most annoying part. I'm just trying to get these guys in there without having them drop down. One of the only times we're having artificial nails is very annoying. Alright, so that one is in. I'm going to tighten it up a smidge so I don't lose it because these are really short. And I'll repeat on the other side. And you don't want to super be forcing any of this. Try to use the drill so it makes it a little bit easier. If you have a magnetic bed, it helps a lot in a situation like this. And you want to make sure that all of your wires and everything are swished in there. I made the rest of the video look super easy, right? Alright, there's that one. Also do yourself a favor and don't have a wobbly ladder if you're annoyed. See what it looks like. 
Beautiful. It's got a little iridescent thing at the top you see on the ceiling. And I think that's significantly improved. That's fantastic. And this set did come with some little gloves, which you made a joke about in another video. So I put the gloves on, I'm going to clean it up, and now I understand why they're there, because even though the hands are relatively clean, it's got little spots on it. So now it does make sense with the installation piece. So now it looks pretty. I love it. So you guys like and subscribe. Have a fantastic day. And I will see you next time. Bye.